Abby Myers, North Tower Neighborhood News Magazine, a presentation of Sonny Hirsch and myself, Community Police and Caps24.org. Uh, we're going to get right into it. It's election time. As it's very important from my standpoint, in my home ward, the 50th Ward, to get a good, responsible alderman who actually cares about the neighborhood, who can do some good in the community. And I'd like to introduce you to one of the leading candidates, Peter George Sipnatis. How are you doing? Doing very well, Avi. Yourself? Good, and thank you for coming. Well, thank you for and, having me. And tell us a little bit about your background. Well, uh, I've been a resident here at the ward for six years. Uh, before that, I was in the Marine Corps for eight years after high school. Uh, stationed out in North Carolina, Camp Lejeune for a while, deployed overseas to Iraq and uh, of the Middle East as well. We helped evacuate expatriates in 2006 out of Lebanon. Wow. Uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's a pretty good, pretty good background. Yeah, that's definitely, um, well, at least it shows you've got some guts, that's for sure, <laughs> among other things. But, you know, yeah. there's a lot to be said for the armed services, and there's so few people in, in public life who, who actually have any armed service experience anymore. It's, it's increasingly rare. A very small percentage of the population serves. And uh, we don't really see a lot of the, the veterans uh, serving in, in public. So what motivated you to uh, run for Alderman? Well, I've been in the ward for six years, and uh, I haven't seen a whole lot of change, uh, particularly the changes that were promised. Uh, we don't see a lot of development. Uh, we don't really have uh, the vacant storefronts filling up. We don't have a diversity in business. And uh, I see that as a big problem. No, there's no question. When you see diversity in business, what kind of business would, because, you know, some people will point, and, you know, we've got Indians, Pakistanis, this, that, the other thing, but there's other types of diversity, too. Oh, absolutely. You need a lot more than restaurants. We've got a very diverse uh, community. We have a large Orthodox population, uh, a lot of Indians, Pakistanis, um, Afghanis as well. And so, but the diversity in business is more than just representing these cultures. You have to represent uh, all areas. You have bowling alleys, restaurants, uh, bars, things like that, places that people can go out and uh, spend their money in the ward. No, that would be nice. Right now, there, there's a big construction boom. You know, I'm, I basically am a mile here. from Lincolnwood, Skokie, Evanston, and you've got a big shopping center in Evanston. You've got a brand new Mariana's going up a mile from here. You've yeah. got a brand new Walmart that opened up, um, a new Starbucks. I mean, all these different, and plus, you know, smaller businesses too, but nothing here. Right. We're surrounded by development. You've got a lot of development in Evanston and Uptown, Rogers Park, Lincoln Square, uh, but it's, it's not really come to the 50th Ward here. A lot of people I spoke to have said that they uh, might live here, but they do all of their uh, all of their spending up in Evanston, uh, which is just a couple blocks away. Yeah, as a matter of fact, when I when I go shop, we, we we are finally getting a supermarket to open right on the edge of the ward, and you know, frankly, it's not a class A supermarket. I mean, it's, I mean, hopefully it'll be nice and all that, but it, it, it's not you know it's not a a major chain. It's like a growing local thing, but. Uh, yeah, we don't have any of that. We used to have, th there was a Dominic's on, Pre on Pratt and uh, Kesey. There was a Jewel at Howard and Western. All that yeah. stuff is gone. Yeah, we, for a long time, well, you know, Dominic's left uh, about a year ago. So we, uh, we've been without a, a major grocery store or a, super, uh, a supermarket for the past year. Uh, I've actually had the opportunity to check out a, a Sir Mac Fresh Market. It's, it's actually pretty nice. I'm um, really happy that they're finally opening up. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I think it's today, uh, as we film. <laughs> I believe it's actually tomorrow. Uh, I last checked. They, you probably know better than me because yeah. you were actually checking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the ribbon cutting is going to be tomorrow at uh, at ten. Yeah. So how are you going about campaigning and meeting people? Well, uh, up to this point, I'm mostly focused on going door to door and meeting residents. Uh, it, I think it's a great opportunity to to meet residents. They feel comfortable at home. Um, you you really get to listen to their concerns and understand what drives. Uh, what drives the community. No, that's good, and there's no better way to, to uh, if you really can influence people one by one, you know, um, not a lot of people vote around here, which is a shame, and, and people would be surprised how few of the Indians and Pakistanis are actually registered voters. There's only about a thousand in this entire ward. You know? Well, it's a, it's a citizenship issue as well. We have a lot of immigrants who uh, aren't necessarily citizens yet and can't vote, uh, but we've got a, a decent voter turnout uh, for our population. But it's, you know, it's, it's been good. I've had the opportunity to meet a very large uh, a portion of the ward already, and I keep on, uh, I plan on keep doing that. Yeah, now, what are people telling you when you, uh, when you meet them? People are, uh, people are pretty excited. Um, they appreciate my energy. 
Uh, they share my vision. They want to see change in the ward, and they really haven't seen it uh, over the past four years. And so people are really, really excited that there's somebody who wants to be an independent voice to represent them instead of their own interests. No, there's no question that's important. And I think people in general are very disgusted with our present alderman. And, uh, you know, it's just not a question of, of I mean, there's just so much meanness. And, uh, you know, it, it's almost, it, it is anti-business in so many ways. And what, what she and her husband, the state senator, have done to, as opposed to for local businesses, is disgusting. I did. I've, I spent a lot of time uh, speaking with the small business owners, particularly along Devon and uh, some up on Tui, and I heard a lot of the same things. They haven't really felt like it's a friendly atmosphere. Um, they haven't really felt comfortable like they can go to the ward office and seek their help. Um, one, one owner of a, a restaurant, uh, Candlelight, actually up on, uh, on Western, was concerned that uh, just the lack of development and how not having that kind of diversity of business is really hurting his. No, that's a shame because in, he's been a popular business for quite a while and actually there's been some interesting innovations at one time when, you know, like uh, it was popular to rent things like VHSs and things like that. Yeah. Um, he actually had movie rental delivery together with his pizza or whatever other food he delivered, which was, which was pretty much of, of a clever idea. I, I like that a that's, lot. That's actually a great idea. So uh, in any event, uh, do you have a website up and running right now? I do. Uh, it's actually uh, pretty pretty good. I spent a lot of time developing the content for that. It's uh, www.votesifnotice.com. Uh, it's V-O-T-E-S-I-F-N-O-T-I-S. -E -I -I Peter George Sifnotis, um, eight-year veteran of the Marines, six-year six -year resident of the 50th Ward. Uh, go check out his website and make sure you vote on Election Day and do not vote for the incumbent. He's somebody to take very seriously come Election Day. Thank you so much, Peter. Thank you, Avi. Thank you.